I've seen hundreds of comments asking how Godzilla is standing in the open ocean, so if you've been asking that question, I think this video is just for you. So I'm going to give y'all a little bit of geology lesson today. Uh, deep within the ocean are these mountains that are cleverly called sea mountains or sea mounts. They function the same as mountains on land except for, well, they're in the ocean. They are formed the same way as mountains, usually by plate tectonics or volcanism. There are currently an estimated 10 million seamounts scattered across the oceans, with some ranging thousands of meters in height. However, there are some located near the surface, so I went out and found some scientific data of some 30,000 seamounts in the Atlantic alone, and found that 1,260 uh are located only 2 to 50 meters below the surface. So, Castle Bravo is a fictional location located near Bermuda and just so happens to be near chains of multiple groups of seamounts. So here we have a draw dropping diagram that I've put together to explain in better detail on how this all works. So the Monarch sub comes out of Hollow Earth and let's just say the seamount is an extinct volcano. The monarch sub makes it to the surface and Godzilla swims up through said tunnel of the seamount, or tunnel system I should say. Uh, Godzilla bashes through the thin layer of crust at the top of the uh, seamount, causing a whirlpool and water displacement. So Godzilla would crawl up through that hole and get his feet planted and begin to rise like you see in the movie. So there you have it. I've seen some say he is floating or kicking his feet, but if you watch the movie, there's no kicking, flailing, or even waves from moving like that. So it's pretty obvious that he's planted firmly on solid ground. And as for how he swims off into the ocean again, he just dives off the deeper ridge of the seamount off to Boston.